the city still mourns. Just a guess, Seeker, but I think they all know who we are. Your skills of observation never fail to impress me, Varric. My Lady Herald! You're one of Leliana's people. What have you found? The Chantry Mothers await you, but so do a great many Templars. There are Templars here? People seem to think the Templars will protect them from... from the Inquisition. They're gathering on the other side of the market. I think that's where the Templars intend to meet you. Only one thing to do, then. Okay. So, the people in Valro Valroyo are they afraid of the Inquisition. They wish to protect the people hmm. from us? We knew there would be some kind of reaction. But I didn't expect the Templars to make an appearance. The people may just be assuming what the Templars will do. I've heard of no concrete plans. You think the Order's return to the Fold, maybe? To deal with us upstarts? I know Lord Seeker Lucius. I can't imagine him coming to the Chantry's defense. Not after all that's occurred. Return to Haven. Someone will need to inform them if we are okay. delayed. As you say, my lady. All right, before we continue, I'm going to go ahead and read all these little epitaphs here uh, under the statues, because these are kind of fun to read. Um, the Avenue of Her Reflective Thought, inscribed upon a plaque. Our Lady and the actors of her rise and fall, her message and visage, visage are worth repeating. So that's her. What's this one over here? Let's just, I'm going to go back and forth. This one. Okay. That's what he looks like. Maffarath's remorse beneath scratched by a vandal at meeting a low door frame. So like he hit his head on the low door frame. All right. Some of these are really funny. Okay. Here's a repeated one. Uh, Maffarath's blood guilt beneath scratched by a vandal and his head suddenly weighs too much. That's how I feel sometimes. Oh, okay. Um, I don't know why I said <laughs> What was that sound even about? All right, Maffarath's regret beneath scratched by a vandal about his unfortunate hair. He has none. He's bald. Or maybe he does. Oh, he does have hair. It's a bad hair day. I know those very well. I'm having one right now. Okay. Maffarath's penitence. Um, an, un an unrelated headache. Yeah. Yeah. I know that feeling, too. Uh, I think this is the last one. The avenue of her reflective thought. The avenue is inspirational, but wise travelers do not linger in their respects. Not just because the bazaar awaits, but because the area before the back turned statues is treacherous. Local legend has it that the child empress, Amy, abused the opportunity of religious repose to relieve herself beneath the gaze of Our Lady. Okay. Unable to discipline the toddling leader, her attendants instead chastised the statues and had them turned in supposed embarrassment. True or not, foolish youths dare each other to soil the spot in similar fashion, and a place of otherwise reverent thought always carries a faint odor about it. <laughs> so basically this area smells like urine. Great. Such a beautiful city, too. But, I mean, there are cities like that here, right? New York? Mm -hmm. Chicago? Okay. All right, so there's, uh, this is Val Royo. Um, this is one of my favorite cities in uh, Dragon Age Inquisition. And I'm going to read some of these signs. Probably not all of them. Um, okay, these are kind of long, so maybe not. But you can, if you play the game, you can read them at your leisure. I'm just not going to do it. Uh, so, yeah, we were here for a reason. So let's do that. Let's, let's, let's check this out. Let's, let's actually kind of do some exploring first. I think we can, let's see. I'm gonna read this, maybe. This one's kind of long, too. Yeah, I'm not gonna spend my entire time in here reading, but I kind of want to just check things out. What is this here? The Emporium of Mortal Means. For all matters, defensive concern, offensive atten intent, and study of arts, martial, and with sanction, magical. Hmm. Anything else in here? A merchant? Can we talk to you? Not open today. 
Not until this fast is over, at least. Too many swords out. Okay. All right, so... The merchants are going to have to speak to us, so let's go find out what's going on. See if we can read this. Gallows, master, hold thy hand, hold it back a while. Callous juror, let me stand, let me bear a smile. For comes my brother distant, for comes my savior soon. I stand here most insistent, I will receive my boon. Fellow soldier, hold thy voice, hold it if you may. Fallow shoulders show my choice, I am in your sway. For know my crime was cruel, and all my pain deserved. I stand here as a fool, despite my brother served. Mother dearest, look away, look into the sun. Others nearest gone astray, you will be undone. For no more will I prattle, and no more will I pray. Here you must the rattle, as life will fly away. That is actually kind of morbid, because this is obviously the gallows. Hanging man's news here. Looks like it's ready to go. Look, they even got lemons up here for people to, to throw. That's crazy. Okay, let's go see what's going on over here. Oh, who's this? This inquisition is heresy. You will not look on my doubt. Okay. Cutscene. I'll keep it quiet. Shh. Good people of Val Royo, hear me. Together, we mourn our divine. A naive and beautiful heart, silenced by treachery. Hmm. You wonder what will become of a murderer. Well, wonder no more. And the propaganda still the remains. The so-called Herald of Andraste, claiming to rise where our beloved fell. We say this is a false prophet. The Maker would say no elf in our hour of need. Okay. So how would one respond to the clear accusation of murder and racism? <laughs> um, let's see. How would she say, I never claimed to be, which is true. She never claimed to be the Herald of Andraste. She's an elf. Dalish elves do not believe and does have the same religious beliefs. Um, so she could respond that way. Or she could say, listen, there's bigger problems than this. Okay. Um, uh, all right, let's go with one. Let's go with them. I make no such claim. I wasn't sent here by Andraste or the Maker. I am simply trying to close the breach. It threatens us all. It's true. The Inquisition seeks only to end this madness before it is too late. It is already too late. The Templars have returned to the Chantry. They will face this Inquisition and the people will be safe once more. Oh. <laughs> wow. Still yourself. That wasn't she funny. Is beneath us. How dare you? Yeah, how dare you? I mean, yeah. What's the meaning of this? Her claim to authority is an insult, much like your own. Lord Seeker Lucius. It's imperative that we speak with... You will not address me. Wow. Lord Seeker? Creating a heretical movement. <clears throat> raising up a puppet as Andraste's prophet. You should be ashamed. You should all be ashamed. The Templars failed no one when they left the Chantry to purge the mages. You are the ones who have failed. You who'd leash our righteous swords with doubt and fear. If you came to appeal to the Chantry, you are too late. The only destiny here that demands respect is mine. Wow. Then why are you here? If you're not here to help the Chantry, then you just came to make speeches. 
I came to see what frightens old women so, and to laugh. But Lord Seeker, what if she really was sent by the Maker? What if... You are called to a higher purpose. Do not question. I will make the Templar Order a power that stands alone against the Void. We deserve recognition. Independence. You have shown me nothing, and the Inquisition less than nothing. Templars, Val Royo is unworthy of our protection. We march. Wow. Charming fellow, isn't he? Has Lord Seeker Lucius gone mad? Hmm. Do you know him very well? He took over the Seekers of Truth two years ago, after Lord Seeker Lambert's death. He was always a decent man, never given to ambition and grandstanding. This is very bizarre. Yeah, he most certainly is now. Um, let's see. Do you think he can be reasoned with? I hope so. If not him, there are surely others in the Order who don't feel as he does. Either way, we should first return to Haven and inform the others. Okay, so... Seekers. Cassandra is a Seeker, and the Seekers are the Order that's over the Templars, or they are, like, kind of the checks and balances of the Templars. And I believe this particular group... Lord Seeker Lucius, uh, I guess they were protecting Val Royale and they've decided to vacate um, for whatever reason. So it sounds like they actually are vacating not only Val Royale, but also the Chantry because either they're tired, to be, tired of being under the Chantry rule um, or they are just seeking their own fortune, fame. I don't know. So. Anyways, uh, let's talk to this lady behind us. Belle? Excuse me, but is what they're saying real? The Inquisition's going to fix the hole in the sky? Uh, that's the plan. Why do you ask? We're know. going to give it a try, at least. No one is doing anything. The Chantry is useless, and the Templars, Andraste. I never thought they'd abandon us. Listen. Your camp will need food. I have contacts. We'll have deliveries there in days. You want to help the Inquisition? Never been part of something this big before, but if your Inquisition's going to seal the sky, I want to help. Um. So, when we have these choices, I usually try to take these because... Um, sometimes it gives additional options for, um, like, I don't know, it opens up additional options for responses or questions or just higher approval ratings. So we'll go with Cassandra. What do you think, Cassandra? I think the woman is asking you and not me. Well, she is. The Herald of Andraste. Yes, I understand. I have said Even over and over again. Mess. But we won't turn away anyone willing to help. Invite her, if it pleases you. She says that she's not the Herald of Andrasa, yet yeah, people continue to call her that. All right, go to Haven. Head to Haven, then. We need good people. I don't know if I'm that, but it will be nice to see. Thank you. And we can certainly use the help. All right, uh, what do we got over here? That's that. Let's talk to the revered mother... Havara. This victory must please you greatly, Sika Cassandra. We came here seeking only to speak with the mothers. This is not our doing, but yours. And you had no part in forcing our hand? Do not delude yourself. Now we have been shown up by our own Templars, in front of everyone. And my fellow clerics have scattered to the wind along with their convictions. Just tell me one thing. If you do not believe you are the Maker's Chosen, then what are you? Okay, just quick side. How is she, like, blaming us for the situation? 
I mean, she just got punched in the head, the back of the head, by a Templar. They decided to leave, not understanding what her reasoning is behind this. I get it that maybe the Chantry is still a little upset that they're calling an elf the Herald of Andraste, and they still think that she murdered Justinia, but she didn't. It's been proven, yet they won't, you know, that's just how the world works real world work sometimes even if you have proof of innocence there are still people that are going to think that you're guilty and so on and so forth and she's just one of them um why would you care i don't know just an elf someone who can help maybe yeah she's someone that can help someone who can help close the breach and end this madness she does have the key that is more comforting than you might imagine mm. i suppose it is out of our hands now we shall all see what the maker plans in the days to come. Uh, let's investigate. What do you believe about me? How many Templars rebel? Let's start with that. How many Templars turned on the Chantry exactly? <laughs> they rebelled across Thedas. Some remained loyal, but not enough to call them the Order. Hmm. The White Spire here in the capital was the largest garrison, but now it stands empty. Perhaps more shall flock to the Lord Seeker's banner now. How far has faith waned, I wonder? Hmm. What will the Chantry do now? So what happens now? Will the Chantry continue to denounce me? Yeah. <laughs> we have already done so. And what good has it done us? Exactly. Now it falls on us to select a new divine, if we can. And leave the next step to her. Provided such a selection is even possible. Mm. I truly don't know. Any revered mother who could have followed Justinia died at the Conclave. What becomes of us and your Inquisition is in the Maker's hands now. Okay. Um. What do you believe about me? I feel like this question is, uh, you know, just unnecessary simply because we already know what they believe. She's not the Herald of Andraste. She's not even worthy to be called the Herald of Andraste because she's an elf, um, that she's the murderer. Maybe she, maybe um, Havara has conceded to that fact uh, or conceded to her being innocent but just by the response but i don't know i'm i don't think i want to ask that um i don't know if i want to ask about that either let's ask about where the templars are gone where is the lord seeker taking the templars i can't begin to guess the lord seeker's mind he could not have abandoned his intended role more completely there must be sense to what we can't see hmm. must there rebellion seems popular in certain quarters doesn't it, Seeker? Is Ooh, crafting the Templars into a new power really any worse than declaring a rival to the Chantry itself? Uh, yeah, you could still help us. It's not too late. The Chantry could still help us and come out on top. If only that were true. What's to stop you from trying? We are not looking for a winning horse. We are simply trying to do the right thing. In whose eyes, though? Your own or, you know, what? I mean, I just, I don't understand. What's this? Okay, there's that. Okay, we won't read all that. As you can see. Look how pretty this is. It's kind of sad that you can't actually explore out here. But look how gorgeous. Oops. What's this? Mm, yeah, I'm not going to read that either. Okay. Oh. It was reservoir stocking evaluation. Tremors, floating, tastes off, water birds die off. Tremors, floating, tastes off, water birds die off. So it's like a restocking fail, fish not fit, do not consume. Oh, I was going to say, is this like a haiku? <laughs> <laughs> Didn't look like it. Maybe not. All right, let's head out. Uh, I guess I could explore a little bit more, but... Um, oops. I'm kind of stuck here. All right. Uh, oh, what's that? 
An arrow with a message. <laughs> Scared, Scared me. Right. A message is attached, written in a large flowing hand and bordered with doodles. People say you're special. I went to help and I can bring everyone. There's a baddie in Val Royo. I hear he wants to hurt you. Have a search for the red things in the market, the docks, and round the cafe. And maybe you'll meet him first. Bring swords. Friends of Red Jenny. A poor drawing of the locations in the market is attached. Okay. That actually did startle me. Uh, what is this? Examine. Let me... Can I get over there? Uh... Okay. What else we got? Looks like there's a quest over here. Can we talk to this guy now? No, he didn't want to talk to us before. Let's... I believe that messenger is trying to get our attention. Okay, let's talk to him then. You are the Herald of Andraste, are you not? I have an invitation for you. Okay. Invitation, First Enchanter Vivienne. You are cordially invited to attend my salon held at the Chateau of Duke Bastien de Gis Gislan. Yours, Vivienne de Fer, First Enchanter of Montsimar, Enchanter to the Imperial Court. Montsimar? Uh, something like that. Mm. Can we talk to the, the marketplace now? Will she speak to us? I am open to you and yours. I okay. price it a premium for everyone, so don't assume it's because you're with the Inquisition. Okay. I expect my customers to know a rarity when they see it, just mm. as I do. She's going to be expensive. Okay, so we can sell a few things, so I think I will. Um, I think I'm going to sell... Oh, gosh. Sorry about the... I'm just going to sell all this stuff. Um, make some room. Maybe I'll keep... I don't know. Uh, do I have any junk? I mean, I could sell all this stuff. Um, keep that stuff. That stuff is... Yeah, okay, we'll just leave it like that. At least we have a little more room to work with. Oh, we didn't even look to see what we could buy. Uh, let's see. What can we buy? Oh, gosh. She is expensive. Okay. We already know we can't afford anything in here. So let's head out. So we do have a couple things to do. Let's see. Um, okay. Oh, that's right. We need to look for red things. So, what is that? I don't know. Let's go here, I guess, first. Um, oh, there's one here. Back here. They left us. Yeah, they did. The Chantry are liars. Okay. Here? This is it right here. Search the area. I got it. A red handkerchief folded around round a key with a small, hasty scrawl. Key lifted from drunk swearing about Harold. Don't know what door. I'm out. My debt is paid. I don't know what that means even. Okay, where's the next one? Uh, around here. Friend of Red Jenny. So let's Go this way. They left us. Okay, yeah. Left yeah, they left you. Who's this guy? Liars. Noble citizen. And he's a worn and the Templars just left? Yeah, they did. So the people of Val Royale are very um, eclectic in their dress. They wear masks and big hats. They're very fashionable, fashion forward. Uh, quite... Um, Fancy. <laughs> Let's read. Okay. Uh, we cheered when honored was her might, but many more deserve a thought. For though she was the first to knight, her ken and kind have always fought. From a plaque with dedication, Le Mas du Leon. I don't know how to speak French, so forgive me. Uh, I'm not even going to try. Um, let's see what he has to say. Soldier. We maintain an Inquisition presence on Commander Cullen's orders. This has been received as you might expect. Of course. He's got an Irish accent. Mm. All right, let's read this. Read. 
the head of Madame Snappy Snips, mascot of Le Mas du Lyon, named in jest but generally respected. The Grand Mam, as she is also called, was the last dragon brought down by Sir Koenig. The previous owner of the cafe, a spirited hunter, Koenig came of age in the years following the sighting that named the era. While others were quick to assume the tales of ancient Navarran dragon hunters must have been exaggerated, he tracked the gradual increase in dragon numbers and size. Koenig believed uh, that we had yet to see a true return of the beasts of legend and that the specimens of his day were young, despite their ferocity. It is a cruel victory, but today we know Sir Koenig to have been correct, even as he may have, even as he may have fallen to his own expertise. He is, was years overdue from the, his last hunt. And for the rest of us, travel wary. What we thought to be the pinnacle of dragon strength may have been closer to adolescence. The sisters of Madame Snippy Snips, Snappy Snips, may have left their sibling far behind. Okay. So, oh. Uh, read. Okay, that's kind of long. It's a red handkerchief. Mm -hmm. A different... A different simple script on the back of a stable report marked with red paint. Thank you, friends, for helping good Lady Karis. Saw those who asked about Harold in her third passage. Could not stay to see them exit. Okay. Um, what's over here? Another plaque. A seasonal home for the childhood pet of the twin sons of Empress Yvette. The name, the nature of Monsieur... Gloves remains unknown, save that he was a gift from Riviani ambassador. Um, and he was eventually released to the sea after taking the hand of a sluggish page. Okay. I don't think they knew. I can't believe they Speak to city guards. Be careful. Okay. Let's go up here. See what's up here. This is gorgeous. With silence, I knew then, and crossed my heart with shame. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to read that. More plaques to read. So much. For Her Majesty's convenience, wood and vines defy the very sun and rain. I guess I should be reading these plaques. I forgot. They give you XP. Not a lot of XP, but some. What? Yes, I'm sorry. Minding the duties of the ailing mother, Havara. I am rather overwhelmed. Forgive me. I am unsure whether I meant to extend chantry services to you, and that troubles me greatly. Okay. Um, okay, so I get it, I guess. What's over here? This is. Oh, sweet. Buy and sell. What you got? Bye. You have nothing. Really? Same old. You have nothing. Anything else? That's it? Oh, wow. Okay. Um, what's up here? Nothing. Anything over here? Nothing. Okay. So, I think there was a set. Yeah, the second floor there okay um i don't remember how to get up here city guard All's well, it seems. is there like a fast travel or something All's well, it seems. Make i don't know wait what's this okay yeah right here i think noble citizen um, some areas have multiple levels. Check, click the eye. Okay, yeah. So here. So we can fast travel here, right? Yeah. Traveling. Um, oh. Examine. At this window, the thief Treadwell did witness the attempt, attempted assault of Lady Castine. He surrendered his chance for escape to catch and hold her assailant, a bard of Lord Halevine, hero, thief, foiled bard, and conspiring noble were all censored as per their station 
and relevant action, lashings and labor disappeared and ostracized for the social season, respectively. The scandal played out far longer in a theatrically serialized adaptation, which reimagined the three as siblings separated at birth, competing for Lady Castine's hand at her orchestration. The conclusion was relatively accurate to the original event, save the punishment of the thief and the noble being swapped to comic effect. Generally good reviews received, though some thought the height of the lady's hair to be unrealistic. Exerted and torn from a disposable walking tour of the capital by Philiam A. Bard. Okay. Okay. Favorites for favorites for friends. A scrap of parchment is hastily torn from an ornate document stuffed with its stuffed into its hiding space with a large red sock. And we are to obey well. We met at three bells to discuss how best to serve the new way. Scrawl below in a misspelled script. Herald, go at time, praise a drost. Taken together, the message reveal the time, path, and key to a location on the world map. So each of the handkerchiefs had like some clue. I didn't know that. <laughs> Never really noticed. Okay, use the world map to travel to the meeting point. All right. So where are we at? World map. All right, so we got two places to go. Wait a minute. Were we supposed to, like, meet with somebody? Hold on. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, uh, wasn't it? Imperial Enchanter. Uh, Inquisition's path. A threat remains. Speak to... No. No, I thought... All right, whatever. So we'll go... Uh, world map. Um, friends of Red Jenny. Travel. Okay. If I might have a moment of your time. Okay. Grand Enchanter Fiona? Leader of the Mage Rebellion. Is it not dangerous for you to be here? I heard of this gathering, and I wanted to see the fabled Herald of Andraste with my own eyes. If it's help with the breach you seek, mm -hmm. perhaps you should look among your fellow mages. Um, we have nothing in common. I mean... I guess she would say that because obviously they're two elves, but Ares is a Dalish elf and she is a city elf. They don't really have a lot in common. They have different experiences. Um, hmm. I don't know if she would say that, though. I'm not sure. She's still very much Dalish. She's still so she has she feels some type of way about city elves as well as humans still. Um, why speak to us now? The mages weren't willing to talk to the Inquisition before. That is true. Why now? Because now I've seen what you are. Hmm. And I've seen the chantry for what it is. Consider this an invitation to Redcliffe. Mm -hmm. Come, meet with the mages. An alliance could help us both, after all. I hope to see you there. Au revoir, my lady Herod. Au revoir. Come, let us return to Haven. But first, we have a couple things we need to do before we return to Haven. Oh, okay. KP? Oh. It's the Get the guy up there. I think I need to turn up the difficulty. I feel like I do. Uh, I think I will, like, next episode, turn it up a little bit. See how we do. Probably gonna die a lot. Um, is there anything over here? Nothing to loot? Oh. Andraste, how much did you expend to discover me? It must have weakened the Inquisition immeasurably. I don't know who you are. You really? don't fool me. 
I'm too important for this to be an accident. What can we say? My efforts will survive in victories against you elsewhere. So eccentric. Just say what? What is that? Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ugh. Squishy one, but you heard me, right? Just say what? Rich tits always try for more than they deserve. Blah, blah, blah. Obey me. Arrow in my face. So, you followed the notes well enough. Glad to see you're... And you're an elf. Well, hope you're not too elfy. I mean, it's all good, isn't it? The important thing is you glow. You're the herald thingy. I mean, she is an elf too, so... Um, some say I am. Who are you? Some believe I'm the herald of Andraste. But who are you and what's this about? No idea. I don't know this idiot from manners. Hmm? My people just said the Inquisition should look at him. Your people? Elves? <laughs> no. People, people. Name's Sarah. This is cover. Get round it. For the reinforcements. Don't worry. Someone tipped me their equipment shed. They've got no breaches. Okay. Why did you take their weapons? Because no breaches. <laughs> they have no pants on. No pants. Oh, gosh. Did he bug out? Oh. Friends really came through with that tip. No breaches. <laughs> so, Herald of Andraste, you're a strange one. I'd like to join. Um, yeah, introduce yourself, please. How about we get to know each other first? You know, names and such. One name. No, wait, two. It's, well, it's like this. I sent you a note to look for hidden stuff by my friends. The friends of Red Jenny. That's me. Well, I'm one. So is a fence in Montfort, some woman in Kirkwall. There were three in Starkhaven, brothers or something. It's just a name, yeah? It lets little people, friends, be part of something while they stick it to nobles they hate. So here, in your face, I'm Sarah. The friends of Red Jenny are sort of out there. I use them to help you. Plus arrows. Um, so you're offering spies? The Inquisition has spies already. Can you add to these professionals? Here's how it is. You important people are up here, shoving your cods around. Blah, blah, I'll crush you, I'll crush you. Mm -hmm. Oh, crush you. <laughs> <laughs> then you've got cloaks and spy kings, like this tit. Or was he one of the little knives, all serious with his little knife? All those secrets, and what gave him up? Some houseboy who don't know shite, but knows a bad person when he sees one. So no, I'm not knifey shiv dark, all hidden. But if you don't listen down here too, you risk your breaches. Like those guards? I stole their... Look. Do you need people or not? I want to get everything back to normal. Like you. Um... Who exactly are your people? So who are your friends of Red Jenny? You must know them. Ah, oh, it's not hard to understand if you're not trying to waste your day on it. Someone little always hates someone big. And unless you don't eat, sleep or piss, you're never far from someone little. Doesn't always work out, but a lot of people hated this guy. Someone got a laugh. Someone got even, someone got paid. And someone has to have explained to them that free help is good. Okay, okay, I get it. Um, See, so yeah, sh join for now. We could use the help. All right, Sarah. I can use you and your friends. Yes! Get in good before you're too big to like. That'll keep your breaches where they should be. Plus extra breaches because I have all these. You have merchants who buy that piss, yeah? Got to be worth something. Anyway, Haven. See you there, Harold. This will be grand. Welcome to the team, Sarah. So we got another companion. So if I wanted to, I could pick uh, Sarah to go with us now. Uh, I think I'll just keep it right now. Varric, Cassandra, and Solas. All right, let's kind of check the area, do some looting. Breaches. <laughs> she stole their breaches. Okay. 
And I think that was it. There was nothing else. Oh, almost missed this. What's in here? Okay, just some cloth. All right. So, oh, wait, 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 wait. What did we miss? Oh, this bag over here. Two bags. Okay. All right. So we had one more thing to do. Um, just go to the world map and go here. Yes. Travel to. Oh, yeah. This is the Vivian Differ, the first enchanter of Malsi Mar, has extended an invitation to her salon at the Chateau of Duc Bastion de Ghislaine. Don't speak French. Do not have a French accent. So, again, <laughs> my pronunciations are going to be completely off. Fancy. Lady Lavellen, on behalf of the Inquisition. What a pleasure to meet you, my lady. Seeing the same faces at every event becomes so tiresome. She's probably out of place. Or feels out of place. So you must be a guest of Madame de Fer. Or are you here for Duke Bastien? Are you here on business? I have heard the most curious tales of you. I cannot imagine half of them are true. Hmm. Madame Defer, you tell me about the Duke. Um, it's idle gossip. It's all true. I guess you could say that in a jokingly way. Everything you've heard, completely true. Better and better. The Inquisition should attend more of these parties. The Inquisition. What a lot of pig shit. Washed up sisters and crazed seekers. No one can take them seriously. Everyone knows it's just an excuse for a bunch of political outcasts to grab power. Wow, what's your point? Yeah. I've never made any claims to holiness. What's your point? In front of all these people, you admit to being a pretentious usurper. We know what your Inquisition truly is. If you were a woman of honor, you'd step outside and answer the charges. Oh, challenge. My dear Marquis, how unkind of you to use such language in my house to my guests. She's stunning. You know such rudeness is intolerable. Uh, Madame Vivienne. I humbly beg your pardon. You should. Whatever am I going to do with you, my dear? Hmm. My lady, you're the wounded party in this unfortunate affair. What would you have me do with this foolish, foolish man? Hmm. Let him go. I think the Marquis has seen the error of his ways. By the grace of Andraste, you have your life, my dear. Do be more careful with it. <laughs> I'm delighted you could attend this little gathering. I've so wanted to meet you. Hmm. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Vivienne, first enchanter of Montsimard, an enchantress to the Imperial Court. Uh, what about the Marquis? Is that Marquis going to pose a problem? His aunt is the Vicomtesse of Mont de Glace. Not a powerful family, but well respected. And very devout. Alphonse will be disowned for this. It's not the first time he's brought his aunt disgrace, but I'm sure it'll be the last. And after such a public humiliation, I expect he'll run off to the Dales to join the Empress's war effort. Either to make a good end or to win back a modicum of self respect. Hmm. A pleasure to meet you. Charmed, Lady Vivian. Ah, but I didn't invite you to the chateau for pleasantries. 
With Divine Justinia dead, the Chantry's in shambles. Only the Inquisition might restore sanity and order to our frightened people. As the leader of the last loyal mages of Thedas, I feel it only right that I lend my assistance to your cause. Hmm. Um. Oh, yeah. Now, uh, welcome aboard. Investigate. Yeah, let's investigate. Um, what do you get out of this? What's You're... in this for you? Right. The same thing anyone gets by fighting this chaos. The chance to meet my enemy, to decide my fate. I won't wait quietly for destruction. Okay. Um, do you support the Chantry? Are you devout? What's your opinion of the Chantry? I was a great admirer of the late divine Justinia V. The Chantry, at its best, unites the disparate cultures of Thedas and looks after its most vulnerable. Had she lived, Justinia could have accomplished so much. Okay, I guess I'm not going to say no to additional help. I mean, I, that would just be stupid, so... The Inquisition will be happy to have you, Lady Vivian. Great things are beginning, my dear. I can promise you that. Okay. Welcome aboard. Okay. Uh, we're going to go ahead and end it here. I guess what I'll do on the next episode is head back to the hinterlands, maybe talk to some of the new companions that we have. Probably do that first uh, before I head back to the hinterlands and um, so on and so forth. So hope you're enjoying, again, the... Dragon Age Let's Play. I am hoping that I get through this entire series. That is my goal for 2022 is um, to try to finish an actual LP. I'll keep repeating this because that is... I'm going to make myself get through this. Um, kind of Also, what's kind of helping me out is my friend J, uh, J Love Gaming is playing through this as well on her channel. She's actually streaming it on YouTube. I will make sure to link her channel in the description. So if you want to catch some of her streams, you can do that as well. She'll be she's playing a elf rogue. Uh, so already she's got a different gameplay. All right, guys. So until next time, I've been Pixelated Twix. Ciao.